Hi there. Now, for this question, we're given that a curve has equation y equals f of x, and is such that f dash x or f prime x equals 3x to the power half plus 3x to the power minus a half minus 10. And by using the substitution u equals x to the power half or otherwise, find the values of x for which the curve y equals f of x has stationary points for four marks. So as usual, if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So for this part, what we should be familiar with is that at stationary points, we know that the gradient that is given by the first differential of f of x or f dash x, f prime x, it must equal zero. So if we were to let, as it says here, let u equal x to the power half, then hopefully this will help us solve the equation. So if we make this substitution into here, Instead of 3x to the power half, we're therefore going to have 3u. And then plus 3x to the minus a half. Remember, x to the minus a half is the same as 1 over x to the half. So this will be plus 3 over u. And then we've got minus 10, and that equals 0. Now, what I'd want to do next is get rid of this u here. So I'm going to multiply both sides by u. That will mean that we just multiply each term then by u. So we're going to get 3u squared here. I can see we're going to get plus 3 here and minus 10u here. So I'm just going to write minus 10u first and then the plus 3. And that will now equal 0. And I did that so that I could get this in the form of a quadratic equation. And we should be able to factorise this. It does factorise. We've got a couple of factors here. So I'll put those two brackets there. Those two factors are going to be 3u and u to give me 3u squared. And then to get the plus 3, that will be minus 1 multiplied by minus 3. And I can see that I get minus 9u minus another u, which is minus 10u. So it just does factorise quite nicely. And so that means that therefore each of those factors, 3u minus 1, would equal 0, or the other factor, u minus 3, would equal 0. And from this, we should be able to see that u would equal 1 third, if we add 1 to both sides and then divide by 3. And if we add 3 to both sides here, u would equal 3. Now we know that u is equal to x to the power half. So we've therefore got x to the power half then would equal one third, or x to the power half would equal the three. Knowing that x to the power half is the same as square root of x, then to bring it up to x, all I've got to do is square both sides. So if I square the third, a third squared is one ninth. And if I square the 3 here, I end up with x equaling 9. All right?